following video is a demonstration of a very vintage model RCH Navy receiver made by the E.H. Scott Radio Laboratories of Chicago, Illinois. As you can see, this is a very vintage old receiver built for the military and it's built like a battleship as you can see. The tuning mechanism is really cool. It's a flywheel type tuning with a gear driven and the, the gears are spring loaded so you get absolutely no backlash with this receiver. Our frequency coverage of this receiver is from 80 to 560 kcs and then 1.9 to 24 megacycles skipping the AM broadcast band. Right now I'm on band 1 and uh, there's a whole not much there it's uh, VLF bunch of strange noise is about all I've been able to get on the first band. Alrighty, now we'll go to band two. And there seems to be a lot of uh, these uh, beacons, I'm assuming, that are sending their ID in Morse code. There's one. Pretty faint. There's another one. Okay, Alright, I'm on uh, band three. Got some uh, ham radio AM operation going on. Should be some sideband stations below that. There's one. Go to CW mode. Alright, now I'm on uh, band 4 on 7 megahertz band, 40 meter. Let's see if there's any Morse code down below. There's one. The receiver is extremely stable, even after a short period of warm-up. It really seems to be performing well. Alright, now we're on band 5. And uh, when I picked this receiver up, the band 5 was absolutely dead. I found some uh, bad capacitors and a few out of tolerance resistors. And voila! I'm on the uh, 10 megahertz setting. Frequency accuracy is perfect on this thing. Right, on the rear of the unit, uh, I replaced J103 with a standard SO239 connection for uh, easy coax hookup. Here's the ID plate, fuse holders, and up here I added a uh, speaker output jack and put a internal um, step-down transformer. So it was only for 600 ohm, as you can see by this plate. So now this thing can be run like any other amateur receiver. All right, real quick, bottom side, all the filter caps in this thing were uh, leaking really bad. So I substituted them out with these nice little 4.7 microfarad 450 volt caps. The uh, gain control here was broken, and it was a stacked pot type, which is impossible to find. So what I did is I coupled in a, another pot and uh, just utilized the shaft that was sticking out of the old pot. It works like a million bucks. And here's a little output transformer that was added. Real clean, doesn't hurt the value of the radio at all. All right, one other thing I didn't point out about this old radio is uh, when I got it, this front panel was Battleship Gray. It looked like they put it on with a paintbrush. It was lousy. So I stripped her down and redid the black finish. I had to hand paint all these numbers back on. Did a little black wrinkle on the little bezels here that you see. The knobs are coated in paint. We dunked those in hot water and cleaned it up, and this is what we ended up with. So I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration. Thanks.